What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create neon text in Premiere Pro. Now the first thing we're going to be doing is creating some text. So come up to the type tool and just draw out a box and type in the text that you would like. You can then press Ctrl A so it is highlighted, come up to effect controls, come down and as you can see we now get to control the size and of course the alignment. Now you also want to pick a colour, um, it can be any colour you want to. So for me, I'm just going to go with a cyan and I'm going to select OK. And we are also going to be changing the font to a font which resembles um, a neon text as if it was on the wall. So for this, I'm going to press Ctrl A so my text is highlighted and I'm going to come over here to where the fonts are. So the font I'm going to be using is known as M Excellent. And for those that watch my Vegas Pro 15 tutorial on this, this is the same font I used as well. So that's how I'm going to have it. I'm then going to come to the move tool and I'm just going to size this box down. I'm then going to hold control and drag this anchor point to the center. So currently this is what we have for just one piece of text on video track one. We are now going to duplicate this twice. So there's going to be text on video track two and video track three, the exact same piece of text. So hold alt on your keyboard and drag this up. Hold Alt on your keyboard again and drag this one up. You can see we now have three copies of our text. Now we're going to be adding on some blur to make it look a bit more realistic. So we're going to head over to effects. We're going to come to video effects. We're going to come to blur and sharpen and we're going to select Gaussian blur. Now we're going to apply this to video track one as well as video track two. Nothing has happened just yet. What you want to do is select the one on video track one first, come up to effects controls come down and you can see it says Gaussian blur. It's currently set to zero. Now what I recommend is anywhere between 35 to 60. Now for me, I'm going to go with 45 and select enter. You can see it's created a blur on the background. I'm then going to come to video track two again, effect controls come all the way down. And this time we, I recommend a blurriness anywhere between 125 to 175. Now for me, I'm going to go with 145 again. I'm going to select enter. As you can see, it's now created this effect. So we're getting closer to the effect we want, neon text. We're then going to come up to the text on the top track, which is on video track three. We're going to come to effect controls. And what we're going to do where it says fill, we're going to make this more of a whiter blue. So whatever color you picked, head towards the white like this. And I'm going to select OK. And I can probably go a bit more. There we go. So that creates a more realistic look. Another thing you can do is add a drop shadow. So you can see it adds a bit more depth to the text. So if I take that off as before, that's after this a slight bit of depth, which looks a lot better. Now I've shown you how to create flickering text in Premiere Pro before, but I'll also add it in this tutorial and it's really simple to do. So to create the flickers, it's going to be done with video track two and video track three. So mainly video track two. So this is where we're going to be doing quite a lot of splitting. So you come across however long you want the flickers to take. I'm going to do every six frames. So I'm going to press C and I'm going to split and I'm just going to go across um, every six frames until I think I've done enough. So I've nearly done two seconds worth of flickers. Now we're not completely done. Come back to your move tool by pressing V on your keyboard or just selecting it up here. Then what you're going to do is delete every two. So for example, this one I'm going to delete. I'm going to come across here, delete, come across here, delete and we now have these gaps. So currently if I play it through, this is what we have. You can see it somewhat creates a flicker. However, not very realistic because this is still lit up. So this is where we also need to change this part. So then black bits we have here, these black gaps, we're going to create them same splits here, except we're not going to delete our clip. So split, 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 split and split. Press V on your keyboard to come back to the move tool and this is what we're going to do. Select that clip on video track three that we have just split out. And what we're going to be doing is turning down the opacity. So you can see the opacity is here and I'm going to turn this, make sure you're right at the start. 
I'm going to turn it to about 50%. As you can see, it goes dim. And I'm going to do the same to this one. And the same to this one. So now, if I play it through, this is going to give us a more realistic flicker. So you can see, it looks like the lights actually go off. This is how it is when they're on and when they're off. It dims down just like that. Super simple, so I'll play it through for you one last time, hopefully it doesn't lag. If it does, the video you saw at the start is the completed version of what I've just done.